John Player was the first billboard to leave the start line, carried at high speed by Senna's Lotus Renault. Mansell in the Williams Honda was disinclined to see Senna disappear. Mansell tried to settle the race on lap one and paid the penalty. Senna stuck to the racing line and left Mansell to argue with the scenery. With the memory still fresh of a similar incident in Adelaide the previous year, Senna was much criticised for his lack of compassion but Mansell correctly drew the conclusion that ethics have small bearing on tactics. He was never to be so impulsive again. Senna raced on with another Williams Honda after him, PK, who in front of the home crowd was keen to prove that of the two boys from Brazil, he was still the one. PK went fast and drew away, but it might not have been all down to skill. The Williams Honda, with a better fuel management system, had a more generous boost-juice ratio than any other car including the Ferrari and possibly also including even the McLaren. Anyway, Rosberg's car blew up with the strain of trying to reconcile its delicate mechanical requirements with the weight of the finished foot. But Cross kept going. From ninth on the grid he went past Johansson into fifth place. PK was all alone up ahead. After dealing with Arnoux's Ligier, Cross went past Alboreto's Ferrari into third place. Piquet came in for tyres. Senna was back in the lead, but now Prost was right on his tail. McLaren re-established its superiority as in days of old. It looked so like last year, it was almost comforting. The Angelus' Brava found a way of getting even closer to the ground. Senna came in for new wheels. Prost was now in the lead, but something was wrong with his fuel system. Piquet, on his fresh tyres, was catching up. Prost went in for new wheels. He went out again third behind Senna, while the wise virgin Piquet kept going past the Williams Honda of Mansell, the foolish virgin. Prost got out of the car, his engine ruined by weak fuel, a wasted race for the McLarens. Dumfries was doing surprisingly well for someone who had spent last season driving cars that had to change down going uphill. PK came in for his third set of wheels. Senna was out on his own for a while, but it was an illusion. His Renault engine with desmodromic valves forgave everything up to 13,000 revs, but it was too thirsty to run the same boost as the Honda. And then he needed new wheels too. Lafitte and Arnu in the Ligiers had not only kept going, they were racing each other for third place. So Nelson Piquet of Brazil came home first in the Brazilian Grand Prix. Once again he had a car that went like him. Ayrton Senna of Brazil came home second. Jacques Lafitte was third in the Ligier, René Arnoux was fourth in his Ligier. Many gallons of champagne were sprayed into the air instead of into the mouths of the thirsty spectators who would only have drunk the stuff.